this is our second video on rare item variants. The special and unique counterparts to already existing items in the mod, which drop rarely from enemies and bosses. For more general information, check out our first video in the small series, which highlighted the rare variants of pre hard mode. Now, let's quickly address what we will be talking about today. In hard mode, there are a total of 14 rare variants, four of them being accessories, while the rest are weapons. Today, we're going to be focusing on the pre Plantera rare item variants. The first rare item variant is the Arbalest. The Arbalest is the rare variant of the Raider's Glory and is dropped by the Pirate Crossbower at the usual 0.5%. The Arbalest fires three arrows at the same time, though there is a bit of a catch. Two of the three arrows are quite a bit faster than the remaining third. This, along with the fast use time of 19, means that you can fire a veritable storm of arrows at your enemies. The second rare variant we will be discussing is the B. The B accessory is dropped by the Mimic at 1%. Just like its normal variants, the B Cloak, it will cause stars and bees to appear upon hit. Its additional effect is that all projectiles gain more damage when you are at full health. This bonus is based on the weapon's damage and its fire rate. This means that weapons that have incredible base damage and a slow fire rate, for example the Anti-Material Rifle and Scarlet's Devil, will make this accessory incredibly powerful. However, this effect will not work with summoner weapons. The next rare variant is the Evil Smasher. This is the alternate form of the Ancient Crusher and is dropped from the Basilisks found in the desert with a 0.5% drop chance. The Evil Smasher creates lingering fossilized spikes on the ground when the hammer hits an enemy. These spikes will linger for 5 seconds. Additionally, the weapon has a 1 out of 3 chance for the current stats of the weapon to be doubled. This includes swing speed and base damage and is applied after the boosts provided by accessories are calculated, making the Evil Smasher to be quite powerful. Once it has been empowered, it has a 2 out of 3 chance to return to its normal state on another strike. One rather unique and notably powerful rare variant is the Eye of Magnus. This is the rare variant of the Lunic Eye and is dropped by the elusive and deadly Rune Wizard. The drop rate for this weapon, due to the rarity and difficulty in killing the rune wizard, is a notable 10%. The highest of all rare items, by far. The other especially unique quality of this rare variant is that while its normal counterpart is classless, this is a mage weapon. Similarly to its normal variant, it fires projectiles that home in on your targets. That is where the similarities end, however. The projectile does not provide the marked debuff that the normal variant does. Instead, it will heal the player for 1 HP and 25 mana when the projectile hits an enemy. You could theoretically use another mage weapon and upon nearing 0 mana, switch over to the Magnus and heal up with no consequences like mana sickness. This gives the item great utility even much later in the game just like its normal variant. The Fable Tortoise Shell is a rare variant of the Giant Tortoise Shell and is dropped from the same enemy, being Giant Tortoises. The item reduces movement speed by 50%, but as compensation adds a large amount of defensive points, 35 to be precise, making the player quite sturdy against attacks. Additionally, you will reflect enemy damage for 25% of the original hit. You will gain a 90% movement speed boost when you are harmed by any souls. But be aware that this boost does not stack with the Panic Necklace or any of its upgrades. It provides the same boost as the Giant Shell, so these effects do not stack either. The Spear of Destiny is the rare variant of the Crimson's exclusive Eichel Spear and is dropped by Eichel Stickers. It does not have a counterpart for the Corruption, which, following logic, would be a rare variant of the Cursed Dagger. In any case, 
The Spear of Destiny, when used, will fire three fast-moving spears that will home in on enemies. There is no escaping these deadly icor inflicting spears. Well, save for being guarded by blocks and other enemies. Moving on, our next and final rare variant for Pre-Plantera is the Regenerator. The shield, not to be confused with the word Regenerator, is the rare variant of the Ornate Shield and is dropped by Cryogen at the usual 2.5%. The Regenerator is as strong in defense as its normal counterpart, but will actually cut your maximum life in half. While it could just leave you with a weaker stamina, the shield will instead also boost your life regeneration by a whopping 16 points, making it potentially powerful for builds which focus around life regeneration. And that about wraps it up for this video. We hope it was informative and that you have enjoyed this little showcase of these rare items. We will continue to release this series soon and hopefully the next episode won't be too far off. Make sure to subscribe if you want to know when and stay tuned for the next video on rare variants.